couldn't... Attitudes like that. <laughs> well, that's exactly why I could. Who's behind this? Let's just say I know who the bigger fish are. Callahan. Why us? We're no threat. Classic warfare. Break the lines of communication. Shoot the messengers. Without Pope. And without the runners. Your clients. Those who just won't let go of the old city will be cut off. Vulnerable. Then this city can clean up the last of its... dregs. So this is just the start? I prefer to think of it as an ending. Still, you did a remarkably good job of coaxing out all those loose ends surrounding Pope's... demise. It's why you're still alive. On the edge all your life, Faith. Sooner or later, you have to jump.
terrorist attack at the Shard has left nine people dead and many more injured. According to a Callahan staff member, a security breach led to a series of catastrophic outages in the Shard's many public protection systems, causing havoc not just at the Shard, but throughout the city. The suspects in the act are none other than the former CPF officer and accused murderer Kate Connors and her sister Faith Connors. Although the scope and precise cause of the outages is as yet unclear, many troubling questions have emerged in their wake, including the role of the so-called runners in the destabilization of city operations. In the aftermath of the incident, local security firm Pirandello Kruger will be assisting the CPF. PK and the mayor's office have also recommended mobile phone and email be used sparingly until additional security measures have been deployed, as their security has been temporarily compromised. The whereabouts of both suspects are currently unknown.